This is how I pictured it. More or less, I must admit, a thumping in my heart. A life about to start. I knew this day would come and you would find your way. At last, my dream comes true. I knew, I knew, I knew it would be. yesterday. I was not there when it happened. Or I should remember it. It could be, of course, that it did happen and I was just not noticing it. It will be best to start right now and not let the record get confused. We are getting along very well now, Adam and I, and getting better and better acquainted. He does not try to avoid me anymore, which is a good sign. And just he likes to have me with him. He is up in the tree again, resting apparently. When I found out that I could talk, I felt a new interest in it, for I love to talk all day and in my sleep too. I tag around after him and have to do all the talking because he's shy, but I don't mind. During the last day or two, I have taken all the work of naming things off his hands, and this has been a great relief to him. For he has no gift in that line, and he is evidently very grateful. Whenever a new creature comes along, I name it before he has time to expose himself by an awkward silence. In this way, I have saved him many embarrassments. Now I purposefully keep away from him in the hope that he will get lonely. But he is not. I shall talk with the snake. He seems very kindly disposed. To do the things I dreamed about but never done before. Perhaps I'm bad or wild or mad with lots of grief in store. But I want much more than keeping house, much more.